Archive Virtual Edition. My name is Lori. Today we're going to be working with wood slices and I'm going to do something I haven't seen done before and it is to make a, a project that can hang on the wall using wood slices. Now I tried this project on a piece of plywood and it was nice but then I decided that it might look more finished if I use something with a frame. So I picked up uh, a very inexpensive mirror and I am going to stick these wood slices onto the mirror, having a little bit of mirror showing up in the background for a special effect. There are many wood slice art projects available on the internet and they would uh, show you how to glue wood slices of a variety of shapes and sizes onto a wooden frame etc. So those options are available and they result in really cute projects. I'm trying to create something a little more unique so to start, I set out to place all of my wood pieces so that it was in an attractive pattern. It's important to use different sizes, shapes, and colors of wood to give variety to your finished product. I'm not going to cover how to cut your wood slices. That's for a whole different session and all of the important safety protocols about using power equipment is beyond the scope of this art hive session. So I'll tell you that I did cut my own wood slices, but you can purchase them online or in a craft store ready to go. I wanted a variety of sizes of wood slices, so I went out into the forest, found some downed branches, and brought them back, and using a miter saw, you could also use a table saw, I cut my wood slices to be a quarter of an inch thick. What's great about using tree branches is that you have one end that's larger, and eventually it, it gets smaller, and so, these wood slices are all from the same branch. It's great to have a variety of sizes to incorporate into your project, but it's also nice to use wood from a variety of different sources. This particular wood is from a sumac tree. And originally when I cut this, I thought I didn't really like it. But I, once I got my project going, I went and got my sumac pieces because they actually do provide a great contrast in the overall look of the project. When I began to cut some of my wood, I got a lot of discoloration like this, and I don't think that would be very attractive in my piece. So then I had to go back out and find a new piece of wood that was not, uh, that was more fresh and therefore had a nice uniform color throughout it. I set out to place all of my, my wood pieces so that it was in an attractive pattern. It's important to use different sizes, shapes, and colors of wood to give variety to your finished product. As I suggested, the sumac pieces at first I thought were not a very attractive wood slice, but when I started placing them on my project, I realized that it really was a great contrast. And to have all of the same color of wood piece is really not that attractive of a piece. In addition, I have a few pieces that are of an irregular shape where there was a branch sort of coming off the main um, piece of wood that I was cutting, which I think adds another element of, of contrast in your piece. So putting all of these pieces onto your canvas, whatever it is you're using, really is very much like doing a jigsaw puzzle. 
You just keep putting pieces in. Then I take a look at it from a, a little bit more of a distance to see if my spacing is, is good and the, and also the contrasting colors. Do I have some spaces that show too much of the mirror? In which case I want to fill those in better. Size, you don't want too many large ones together, too many small ones together. Just a very random placement, but balanced. <laughs> started working with this project I was using a glue gun to secure the wood to the mirror and I found because it's a mirror the glue gun once the glue dried did not want to hold on the shiny mirror so I've now changed and I'm going to use liquid nails so there's a lot of products that um, you can purchase for liquid nails and that's what I ended up using to finish the project. If I was to take everything off and put the liquid nails on, I would have to redo my whole jigsaw puzzle and we all know how long a jigsaw puzzle takes. So I want to avoid doing that by simply placing each piece back into my canvas individually. The one difference between the glue gun and the liquid nails is that the liquid nail does not dry clear and so you have to be much more careful not to overdo it so that it shows up in your final product. I'm getting to the end of my project now. So I've gone out and I've cut um, some of the little branches that I have. I'm gonna go around and place these in areas where there's too much of the mirror showing. So places like in here, um, around the edges sometimes, there's just a little too much space. So I've cut some of these and I will go ahead and put those in now. It's coming together quite nicely. When I put these little half pieces in, I want to be careful too not to have them stuck right up tight against other pieces of wood because I want to maintain that, that distance that I've set throughout the whole project. Remember that you don't have to do this on a mirror. In fact, most people probably would choose not to use a mirror. Simply choose a backdrop. You can use plywood. If I was using plywood, I would stain it first, similar to the color of the wood, or paint it all black so that the color showing through the wood complements your project and doesn't detract from it. Smaller projects using picture frames, um, making placemats or trivets are also very effective with the wood slices. I'm going to pick my project up now just to see if I have forgotten to secure any of the pieces. They'll fall out and I'll know that I still have a little bit of work to do. Here we go. There's one piece that fell out, but pretty good. And you can see the mirror in the background. Shows up quite nicely, but it seems to me that it's quite uniform throughout the project, except where this piece fell off. So I'll get my 
liquid nails and address that problem. I hope you enjoyed this project and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you.